Hi everyone, my name is Michael Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm showing a brand new 2020 Thor Chateau. This is the 30D, which is a two slide bunkhouse Class C motorhome. Built on the Ford chassis, powered by the Ford V10, is just a, almost a bulletproof uh, power plant system, powertrain system. The Chateau is America's number one produced Class C and number one selling. It has a solid fiberglass front cap up front here that's going to keep the nose of this overhang really nice and secure. The exterior on this is a high gloss HD Max gel coat fiberglass. Being a high gloss gel coat, you don't see the individual fibers in the fiberglass and that allows it to look clean longer. And then when you do go to clean it, it's going to clean up really, really nice. It is on the Ford E450 Super Duty Class C chassis. Does have an onboard generator. It's an Onan generator. Get this open here for you. Onan 4000 kilowatt by Cummins. That's a gasoline generator that runs off the same fuel tank as the, the, the engine that drives this motorhome does. So you can use anything in this motorhome anywhere, whether you're in the middle of a parking lot or in the middle of the woods, you'll have full power with that generator. Huge storage in the rear here. That's come with a black tank flush to clean out that black tank. Tinted windows. It does have a ladder to get up onto the roof. It's a fully walkable roof, which shows you the structural integrity. And that'll allow you also to get up there to do your roof maintenance. It has an 8,000 pound trailer hitch on the back with wiring, both seven pin and four pin down here from the factory. That's a nice thing to have. When you go to tow, your wiring is already there. Second slide out on this side. Both slide outs have the slide out cover awnings over them. That prohibits debris from dropping on top of that slide out and then running that slide out in, possibly with the debris on there. The slide out cover is going to prevent that from ever happening. Some storage right here in this compartment. And then some more storage down low here on the right side of the door. This storage compartment is uh, lined with the Rotocast plastic material. That's a material that can literally be hosed out. It's not going to rot or mildew on you. Power awning on it. And again, this is the 2020 30D Chateau. To get inside, it's a nice easy entrance. The steps are built into the motorhome. And then a couple controls as you walk in. There's the battery disconnect, an easy turn knob, the awning control, and the step light, and a couple interior and exterior light switches there. This is prepped for solar. It comes with the solar controller by Go Power. Really cool system. The spot is up on the roof to mount a solar panel and the wires are already there. That's what it means by prep. All right, we're gonna start up here in the front. Uh, what denotes a Class C, a Class C? I get that question a lot. Mike, what's the difference between a Class A motorhome, a Class B, and a Class C? Well, Class C has the sleeping, like what I'm showing you right here, over the cab, right? And Chateau does this beautifully. They have the TV on the swing arm around there. They have a ladder that hooks into these two spots right here. So you can get up into the bunk easy. They have an opening window up here with the screen. And they have a vent up here. Also air conditioning vents up there. So if someone's sleeping up there, they're not going to get really hot. USB power station is easily accessible. Also with this nice little rack here to put maybe your phone or something so it's not going to fall off the bunk and bust your screen. And then also what Chateau does is they make this bed a breakaway bed so that can flip up like that. And then you can get into the cab just by walking from the motorhome. It's an ingenious design and it's something that Thor Chateau has done for years and really makes it an easy transition. Seating up here, you have driver and passenger doors along with passenger and driver seats, steering control, uh, shifter control, gas pedal controls just all like what your normal automobile would be it does have a backup monitor and radio built into one system right there and heating and air conditioning controls plenty of cup holders and a nice easy drive what i love about a motorhome 
as the alternative being a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, is your adventure starts, your camping adventure starts the moment you leave. Because you're in the motorhome, the guests can be sitting back here in the living area, right? Maybe eating a meal or having some beverages, or maybe sitting at the table here playing a card or a board game. There's just the adventure and the fun just starts the moment you leave the driveway. They can interact with the driver and the passenger up here. And it's just a lot of fun. When I go camping, this is what I use. And I just get excited thinking about it because I just I have really good memories in Class C motorhomes. And it's just a lot of fun. Plenty of cabinet space in this. You notice all the cabinets here. And I even looked at them over here. Air conditioner built into the roof with ducted AC. So you're going to get cold air from the front to the back. A good amount of countertop space. And that's due to this countertop extension right here. That can fold down out of the place. Uh, out of the way. And then also you have your countertop extension on top of the three burner stove top here. Which is just a glass extension. So when you're not using that, that gas stove top. You can have maybe some stuff on top of there. And then there's your oven down there. Spice rack behind. Built-in power station right here with both the two USB and three normal outlets. That's GFI protected now being close to the sink. So you're going to be safe and sound to use that. And then microwave up top here for the quick meals. And then right across to here, and it opens the right way, is your refrigerator. Freezer's up here. Refrigerator's down here. This is an RV refrigerator, right? So it's going to work off propane gas. So you're going to have your food cool no matter what type of power you have hooked to this. Coming back into the hallway, you have your monitor panel here. This is actually your whole command center. Tank monitors, slide controls, water pump controls, water heater controls. You can start your generator right here. In addition, there's a start switch out there on the generator itself. So there's two ways to start the generator. And then all your heating and air conditioning controls are right here at your fingertips. This is what makes this motorhome special. It has the bunk bed. So you have a bunk bed up here with a TV. And then this bunk bed can flip up. And then down here you have a table. I have the table in the down position. So I wanted to show you how that's able to be done. So with it in the down position, these cushions will slide over the table spot. And you'll have another bunk. Nice design there. And then there is a door to separate off the master bedroom. It's actually a pocket slider. And it clips into place so the bunk room is separate from the master bedroom. I get that question a lot. But it's nicely done. And it is private. But the master bedroom features a queen bed. And you can walk around this bed on all three sides. So whether you're sleeping on this side or the right side, you'll be able to get out with waking up whoever's sleeping beside you. There's one wardrobe beside the bed here. But don't worry if you have more clothes. There's more wardrobe space. I'll show you here in a second. There's a nightstand on both sides of the bed. Power on this side of the bed with normal and USB. You can have a drawer down here and a cabinet down there. And then on the other side of the bed, don't worry, there is power over here. You can keep your phone charged on this side too. Cabinet storage above. This is equipped with a Denver mattress. What I like about the way this motorhome floor plan is set up, this bed is fully usable. It doesn't fold in half or anything like a lot of floor plans do today. Uh, this bed's fully usable while traveling down the road. And then across from here, I told you more wardrobe space, and there's a lot of it. Three drawers. All drawers are full depth drawers. So you can get to the back of the drawer. So plenty of spot for your socks and underwear. And then this here is where you're going to mount a television. And it's pretty ingenious. You can mount your television right on this solid wood cabinet door. And then it flips up. You have your TV connections, both antenna cable and power. And plenty of storage back here. So that's a nice feature to have. So that completes this walkthrough on this all new motorhome. It's a Thor Chateau 30D. Uh, we appreciate you watching. I'm going to post links below that has current pricing and availability, pictures, and a lot more information on it, technical stuff. I showed you the pretty stuff and kind of uh, showed you the value of this motorhome. But the technical stuff, if you want tank sizes and things of that sort, check out the link that I'm going to post below. Also, if you're looking to upgrade, if you want to get out of that travel trailer and start the adventure in a motorhome, we'd love to have your travel trailer and we can give you a no obligation uh, free quote right on that. Just fill it out our form that I'll post below. And financing is available. Super awesome payments on something like this. A lot of customers tell me how surprised 
uh, they are of how low of a payment that they could qualify for. So check that out and get pre-approved before you come in. Again, no, no, no obligation on any of that. And we just appreciate the opportunity to earn your business. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, get out and let's have an adventure.